Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to my outdoor adventure review channel. This is Lila, the adventure cat who's not quite an adventure cat. In this video, we are going to be testing a car travel blanket, 12 volts. I got this quite a few years ago from my mom. Thank you, mom. And it doesn't say exactly how much wattage it uses, but we're gonna give this a try. What I like about this is that it has a really long cord. It is 80 inches long. The blanket itself is not very big. It's kind of more just like a lap size blanket, enough to keep you nice and warm. I have used it one time just for about an hour or so and I was pretty impressed with it. This particular one is a high road. We're just going to see how well it does with just a blanket and then if I need to I'll pull the wool blanket over top and then back here is back there is Lila's heating pad. So some gloves. It is going to be about 14 degrees tonight. So very, very chilly. Currently in the car. Where is my... Okay, currently in the car, it is 71 degrees. I just pulled up, got everything set up. It is after 10 o'clock. That's how I roll for a camping trip. I get a late start. So um, I am going to check how much I have left on my Energy Apex battery. And I do have a fridge that is plugged into it. Maybe actually I'll unplug that fridge since it's gonna be so cold. And then I just have these roof lights that are plugged in. And I'm not sure how many watts those take, but once they're out, they'll be out. So I'll just have my energy apex going with this 12 volt blanket. And we're going to see if it can keep us warm tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and get in this bed and plug the blanket in and get all cozied up. In case you can't see that, it is at 93%. And then once I am in bed, I will unplug the lights and only have the 12 volt blanket cord plugged into that. We are all tucked in. The blanket is plugged in. We are still at 93% and some things that I noticed, the measurements of the blanket are 27 and a half by 39 and a half. So 28 by 40. And then it says there's an auto control that turns on when the blanket's cool and off to avoid overheating. So hopefully, uh, that works because I don't want to wake up cold and let's check the temperature and it's cooled down 67 degrees so quite a bit okay we are just going to go to bed now because I'm actually tired it is 10 20 and we will report back in the morning good night good night miss Lila Lou Hello, sweet girl. Yeah. Yeah. It is 8.20 in the morning. And it is 31 degrees. But when I did this earlier, it was 30 degrees. Whatever. Same, same. The battery is currently at 57%. And the blanket takes 29 watts. 
and it is still nice and toasty warm. I did not feel it go off at any point in the night. I don't think because it was overheating at all. Um, it was really nice just to have something warm to sleep with. And all I had was this flimsy little throw blanket and my t-shirt and some leggings. Um, but I'm super, super, super impressed. Beyond impressed. Oh, excuse me. Do I think it's very practical? No. Excuse me a little bit. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think it's very practical because it just stays on the whole time. And when it's freezing, below freezing, it's not going to automatically shut off because it is overheating. Um, I think it would be better if there was an on-off switch or maybe even a timer and you could just get up and turn it on again to warm up but overall I'm very very impressed and I will definitely keep it handy I wonder if there's a switch I could add to it but who wants to do more work with it anyway let me know what you use to stay warm in the winter if you've ever used a heated blanket what your thoughts are and if you have one that has a timer let me know i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in my next one